Okay, now this is highly anticipated. Skull and Bones. It looks like a more mature Sea of Thieves. I've heard nothing but bad things about it, to be honest. But, let's see what IGN has to say. I trust their opinion. When I first got my hands on Skull and Bones yes, and yes. closed beta in August, I was stunned that this legendarily elusive game actually existed. Yes, yes. A lot of delays. Fast approaching, it would seem any doubt that the seafaring adventure won't see the light of day is fading. Now I just want to know if it's going to be good. And after another six hours in the most recent we'll need beta good ship weekend, combat, I find myself more hopeful than ever that this plundering simulator might actually capture the attention of me and my friends. Oh, I like what he just said. The most recent closed beta this past weekend, I find myself more hopeful than ever that this plundering simulator might actually capture the attention of me and my friends. Okay, okay. There is. That's yes! Cool. Yeah! A good ship uh, combat game. Though the most recent beta included some odd and unexpected changes to the story, my friends and I dove deep into the waters of this ship-based adventures RPG mechanics and came away pleasantly surprised. That's what we need. That's what I'm looking for. First off, if you haven't seen our review from a few months ago, you should go and check that out because the vast majority of my praise and cautious optimism still applies. Having a chance to develop my sea legs a few cautious months ago, optimism. me and two of my fellow scallywags spent a good chunk of the weekend tinkering with our boats and exploring as much of the map as we could before running into horrifyingly overpowered and customized the boats. This turned us into driftwood in one second flat. Oh, it's not. Upgrading and customizing. That was crazy. That took no time at all. Horrifyingly overpowered enemy crafts that turned us into driftwood in one second flat. Upgrading and customizing your very own piracy vessel remains one of the coolest things Skull and Bones offers, and that's especially true. <laughs> yeah, after that's the first few hours. that is Once pretty cool. I didn't know about that. Class-based ships with specific strengths and weaknesses to suit my playstyle. For my part, Class I like to prioritize DPS game. and enjoy getting in close and smashing the enemy craft to pieces. So I built the rammer. That's good to take note of. Doing as much damage as possible. Meanwhile, the other members of my party built a tanky ship called the Defender and a support-focused ship called the Sentinel. So that when we fought as a crew, we had the perfect diversity of specializations we needed to absolutely crush any poor you land. Can it if you want. Yes! Yes! Our seas. Team strategy. Yes, yes. Combining That's a big different plus. ship types with various kinds of weapons, like long-range sniper cannons that do lots of damage, versus sniper others cannons. that blast large volleys of close quarters fireballs, and attachments that adjust various resistances and armor scores, made Skull and Bones feel like a true naval RPG. And Everything he's saying right now is just amazing. It's amazing, just amazing. This game is shining right now. It felt like my crew had only just begun scratching the surface of what's possible with dozens upon dozens of more powerful options locked out for vessels of our level. After the previous beta, I praised Skull and Bones for Wonder if it has a good story. surprisingly more fleshed out than I was expecting. And while that still held true in the second beta, there were also some really bizarre changes to the narrative I don't fully understand. It is too late for me. But maybe you will walk on the free shores of Sandan. For example, in the moments of the previous beta, I found a dying pirate captain, Abel Rassler, who example. served as a jumping off point for the rest of the story. Oh, come to look like cabin, you filthy scrag. But in this latest version, when I went to pirate. visit the same ship, yes! the captain yeah! had already expired, leaving me to quietly grab his stuff Good before bit. leaving. I'm really not sure why this awesome. major story change happened. Maybe Ubisoft got feedback that there was too much talking in the 
early part of their cannonball focused pirate game, or perhaps they just cut this part out of this beta since participants were only allotted six hours of playtime. But it wasn't the only big one I noticed. There were also a few significant dialogue changes, and one of my main crewmates had been replaced by a new character altogether. It's pretty surprising that after all these years of development, they're still making significant story changes in the four months since the last beta. But then again, I suppose that's what betas are for. Makes sense. Yes! Yes! I'm not too concerned about the story, though. More, check out our previews he did not. Persia, the lost crown. What he said was not much reason for alarm, in my opinion. So... Yes! Yes! Skull and Bones is a work in progress. Well, I kind of like what I saw. All right. Give that a B plus. That's what that earns. You did it. Get a B.